Once the tourniquet comes to you, you're going to open up your tourniquet. A week and a day before school starts. It's the school bus drivers that are in class. If it's on the bus and you're out in the community and somebody's called 911, the first responders are en route. Get it snug. Learning life-saving skills. I'm not going to get too specific, but we're going to, like, maybe there's a fire on the bus. In front of a tough crowd. Dave's too close. A profession that's come a long way. Started driving a bus in 1997. No Instagram, no cell phone. We did have pagers. Don Dixon is the director of transportation for the Bellevue School District. He says that emergency response training for bus drivers was unheard of just a few years ago. This course is a first for his district. We wanted to get our drivers prepared for that, prepared as much as possible, because it could happen on the school bus, God forbid. And we just want to give the drivers the tools they need to to make sure they know what to do. The Bellevue School District says it lost about a third of its bus drivers over the course of the pandemic. In an attempt to correct that, they're offering a cash bonus, $1,000 for new hires. More cash for drivers who stay more than a year. Incentives that come as districts around the state are struggling to find qualified applicants. Seattle Public Schools just announced it will cancel routes, but has yet to say which ones. Rick Neum, a 30-year veteran, will be the first to tell you that his job is a tough one. Yeah, we're the tip of the spear, basically. Uh, the uh, first person that the student sees in the morning and the last one they see in the afternoon. So it's very important that we uh, get the kids to school so they're ready to learn. And as the world continues to change, that mission becomes more complicated. This training prepares them for variables that they will hopefully never face. In Bellevue, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.